And longtime San Luis City Councilwoman Gloria Lopez Torres was sentenced this afternoon after pleading guilty to one count of ballot abuse, a Class 1 misdemeanor. Torres will not face any jail time, but will serve two years of supervised probation. She'll also be required to pay a fine of $2,500. One special requirement as part of her sentence is that she may not run or be appointed to public office again, though she will be allowed to finish off her current term, which will end in December of 2024. Imperial County sheriffs say nine inmates overdosed, leading to one death after deputies believe they took in an illegal drug. Karina Bizarte shares the details. Sheriff Fred Miramonte says the staff received a call around 8 that one inmate was down in their cell. Then they discovered more inmates were on the floor. During the span that the officers were there for the 15, 20, 30 minutes that were there, um, they felt uh, nauseous and sick and they either sat down or went down on the floor. Sheriff Miramonte says correctional staff perform life-saving measures and all eight inmates were taken to the hospital. At this point, there's no fatalities. Uh, we do suspect they inge ingested some kind of a control substance that to be determined. Then on Thursday morning, a 33-year-old inmate in a separate part of the prison was found unresponsive. Officers tried to save his life, but the inmate died at the hospital. The other inmates are now back in jail. Deputies don't know what kind of drug the inmates took and how we got inside the jail. Reporting from Imperial County, I'm Karina Basarte. And now let's go ahead and take a look at our weather conditions as of right now. So on our RV World Yuma Skycam, we're staying a little breezy out there and we are seeing a little bit of passing clouds. So let's jump over to our satellite and radar as of right now. So we are seeing some passing clouds, but thankfully nice and dry, not tracking rain with that. So really good news and temperatures staying nice and cool for this time of year. But I'm tracking a little bit of a warm up come the weekend, but thankfully we'll still be below normal. So I have more on my full forecast coming up next. Thank you, Melissa. Nice little new look from yeah, Melissa with I weather. Like that. Crossing at our local border have slowed, but they have far from stopped. And migrants who cross the border illegally here often don't understand the risks in doing so. There was a tense moment at the Yuma border this morning. An elderly migrant woman from Honduras had to be supported by a Border Patrol agent to get to the end of the border wall. She was able to be processed and board the bus to sector headquarters without needing any medical attention. According to tweets from Yuma's chief patrol agent, there were over 15,000 apprehensions in May, which is an increase from April. CBP will likely release official May numbers here in a couple weeks.